We have some huge breaking news. The NHL and the Players Association have a deal for a return to play for 2021. They just need to vote on it. We'll discuss what we know so far coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As I mentioned, we have some pretty awesome news tonight. We have word the NHL and the Players Association have come to terms on an agreement for a return to play for 2021. Now, let's not get too excited and get too ahead of ourselves here because ultimately this does have to go to a vote for both the Players Association as well as the league, but it is expected to have a yes vote. I mean, we've already been hearing for a long time that this was going to happen, going to go through, just a matter of getting all the kind of fine details ironed out. Now, there is still a few moving parts here, and obviously everything is somewhat subject to change, but we'll see how this goes. The players are expected to possibly even hold a vote on this information on the return to play package this evening because they already had uh, a, a call, a conference call scheduled, so it is possible their vote could start tonight. And the NHL's Board of Governors are expected to hold a vote sometime this weekend. It could be tomorrow. I'm not quite sure exactly yet. They don't have a call scheduled, but that it should be done before the end of the weekend. Now, what we do know is this. It is based on a 56-game schedule, which is what we've been hearing for some time with the puck dropping on January the 13th. Of course, as I mentioned, dates are always subject to change, but they, right now, that is still the target date that has not moved from the dates that we've been hearing for some time. So they're still targeting January 13th. I feel they can play the first game of the season on that day. So that means training camps for the seven non-playoff teams that did not go to the 2020 return to play will begin at the end of December on December the 30th. And then the rest of the league would open up between January 3rd and 4th is when their training camps would get underway here now many nhl teams have a big chunk of their players already back a lot of informal stuff's already been taking place which is good and a lot of other players even if they haven't returned to their nhl cities have already been going through a lot of training and stuff so this should come together fairly quickly now a few of the things that we did learn i know renault lavois of tba sports is indicating that the information he has indicates there's still a canadian division now i've also got a word from guys like Elliot Friedman, Frank Saravalli, indicating that the uh, the Canadian division part is not 100% finalized, that they're still apparently waiting on some health authorities to sign off on things. Obviously, the federal government has made it known in Canada that basically the NHL can play as far as they're concerned, but ultimately it's up to each individual provincial health authority to approve the return to play protocols and right now, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. We had word yesterday that it is possible that they could end up having to move all seven Canadian teams to play out of a U.S. location instead, uh, move themselves to the border, because obviously the rules are a little bit more relaxed down in the U.S. of A. Now, of course, though, from what I know so far, it sounds like provinces like Alberta, I think Ontario, Quebec are fine. Even to a degree, I think Manitoba, from what I heard at least, and that could be you know, changing, but I think it's mostly just BC that was kind of giving them a little harder time on the protocols and whatnot. As we know, the uh, provincial uh, health authority in BC also was a big part of the reason why Vancouver did not end up being a hub city during the 2020 return to play this past summer. They would not agree to everything, and they ended up going to Edmonton instead. Now, what happens if the all provincial health authorities don't sign off on this? There is a possibility that instead of going to the United States, the NHL could have a hub out of uh, one of the Canadian cities and base it that way. And we've heard Edmonton and Toronto, like before, would be the two destinations in consideration. But we've also been hearing that the players on the Canadian teams are not really all that crazy about either playing out of a U.S. location or out of a hub. So that is the only real negative in all this is that we don't know how all the Canadian locations are going to fare that way. Now, we're also hearing that the taxi squads, like the expanded rosters, is going to be a thing. Uh, we're looking at probably anywhere from four to six extra players. Uh, if a player decides to opt out of this return to play, teams will have an option to carry over their contract to the following season. So, for example, if a player only has a one-year deal uh, and they decide not to go play, that contract could still be pushed back to 21-22, 
And same thing for anybody else who has more term. Uh, basically, they could have a year tacked on and have it pushed out a year if they decide not to play. I mean, at this point, it's too early to tell if we're going to have any players opt out or not. There was a few before, but not very many. So it very well could end up being a scenario that we're encountered with here again. I would fully suspect if they're able to have the Canadian Division, though, as, as we had heard and talked about before, that the other three divisions will be basically what we had talked about as well being an Eastern, a Central, and a Western division. And obviously most likely seeing a team like Minnesota and St. Louis probably playing in the West, possibly Dallas playing in the Central. The Eastern teams are pretty much already set with Boston and Buffalo, and then the rest of the, the teams in that division would be from the old Metro. Obviously you get the, the, all the New York area teams, the Rangers, Devils, Islanders, uh, and then of course you get the Flyers, Penguins, and Capitals along with Boston and Buffalo. So that is what we're going to have here so far. So at this point, there's not a lot more information that we do know, but that's all we really know so far. But that's a really big step in the right direction. Obviously, once the votes are taking place and we have an approval, then we'll get the full release of information on how everything is going to go. Uh, I know personally, I'm really hoping that they can have the Canadian division and that everything can play in Canada. I think that would make for some great entertaining hockey and it would be much more likely, I think, to get more of a reception from the players uh, on those teams, especially if that can happen. Now, of course, the uh, the American teams far outnumber the Canadian teams as well, so I kind of wonder if maybe the Canadian teams, even if they have enough players that aren't real crazy about that scenario, that they still might be outnumbered and outvoted, and they might have to deal with it anyways. Not really sure how that's going to play out, but I'm sure we'll be getting more information here in the next little while. Uh, there's already been information coming out pretty much on the hour in the last hour or two since this news started to break. So if there's any more details that have come out before this actually gets on YouTube, look down to the pinned comment and I'll update that if I learn any more information about this return to play here um, between now and then, which is not going to be very long, but still, you never know. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to say 100% uh, with a deal being voted on here, maybe by the end of the weekend, by Monday at the latest, hopefully we'll be able to say hockey's officially back and we'll know all the fine details. So I'm sure you must be excited. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments and we'll discuss further. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you don't miss any future content. And stay tuned for more updates in the 2021 NHL return to play as well as all the other news and rumors from around all 31 NHL teams. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time.